think I had to be really clear with myself where I wanted to get to. And I made sure that I set my goals one after the other, small steps. And I made sure I reinforced that with the kids. Okay, every lesson, this is where we were going. Um, I had to be very mindful that it could have been a disaster. Um, I'm stepping out of my comfort zone, I'm taking that risk and really um, be encouraging, enthusiastic to make sure that the kids didn't know that I was nervous. We're all set in our own ways and I know how I was taught in maths. I need to do something different so I could engage those students who um, would just put a wall up and not at even attempt and I had to make it enjoyable for them. Yeah, I saw kids who would not normally be um, willing to attempt any mess come on board. I saw that collaborative nature um, around all the classroom. They had to work in groups. They had to um, bring all their skills on board. Um, everyone had a chance to come into the group because they could bring something different. It was bringing all their strengths in um, and solving that problem, doing the mess all along the way and not even realising. They used their own experiences, their own interests, and wrote that narrative and really dug out all the creativity in that narrative to help bring along that problem solving in the maths. Um, every kid had something to offer and every kid succeeded at some level. They knew at the end they were filming this. They were going to make that problem and make it into a movie. Um, not only were they doing the maths, around the interests that they enjoyed, they knew there was going to be a purpose at the end of it too, and they were going to challenge other students, and you know, they loved that. It was enthusiasm all the way through. Yeah, it wasn't just about setting a problematised situation or getting them to write their problems and going off and doing it. It was about me setting them small steps goals along the way and guiding them along the way. It was about me identifying those teacher moments where I went, oh, okay, so in the future I need to teach them this or guide them now, give them a teaching, explicit teaching now and then move on. So it was all the time I was doing that formative assessment knowing where I had to go in the future. With these problematised situations, um, I started off with the problem and then Afterwards, after leading them through all their learning, after having those teachable moments, after seeing where I had to go in the future, I went back to the curriculum then, and then I went, oh my gosh, I've, I've ticked off all these aspects. All the general capabilities pretty much were ticked off in that one situation. It was, it was fantastic. It wasn't another thing I had to cater for. It covered a whole lot of the curriculum. Yeah, the ethical understanding was understood and explicitly taught to, uh, to the students by making them aware and then becoming aware of they were going to be viewed by an audience. Um, they didn't know who the audience was, so they had to be really considerate in every way of what they were talking about, what was being said and how they were saying it. I mean, from writing a problem, as such a narrative. Um, it was easy to see the literacy was going to be incorporated and satisfied. The ICT was going to be incorporated and satisfied because we were doing that iMovie and we were filming by the iPads. Um, the social and personal um, side of things came out really strong as well. Every kid had a voice. The kids that usually are quite quiet um, really came out because they were able to talk about what they were interested in. They were confident in that. The kids who are normally confident um, had to take a step back sometimes because it wasn't all their way. They had to be quite inclusive in their group work. It had to be a full group um, dedication of work. The big thing I found once we got to the filming was that I had to be really mindful and keep reminding the students that it had to be about the mass. They got so excited about using the iPads and all the technology that they got, often got carried away and got caught up in the narrative, got caught up in the problem. I had to keep telling them and keep bringing them back to the mass. This is all about the mass. How, how, how is someone going to open up your problem? How is someone going to pull apart your problem and solve it? We had to make sure all the mass was in the problem. It was constant critical thinking all the way through. They were really reflective and critical of their work. Um, the big thing that came out of it was like, next time we can do this better. We can set harder problems. They were so enthused. Um, you know, they just challenge to make it harder for another student to um, try and solve their problem. It was really encouraging. 
Yeah, I've really changed as a maths teacher now. Um, I'm now including my problematised situations in all of the maths areas um, throughout my unit. Um, I'm seeing the kids engaged, enjoying and achieving. It's been fantastic.